All right, so the goal here is to eventually fix up the garden beds. So I currently have this really big raised bed uh, behind this six foot fence to keep the deer out. And I put down cardboard as a mulch and I'm expanding it to come all the way over here. So I have everything I could find to weigh it down because we had some strong winds that kind of sent all of my cardboard flying at one point. So the idea is going to be expand what's already in the fence uh, over to here. So let's get started. taken down and I got all of the cardboard laid down uh, okay so next step is to I guess build the raised beds <laughs> So now I'm cutting this shape here to use as kind of an anchor in the corners and on the sides to keep it from bowing out. And that'll just hold it in the ground a little bit. Uh, I don't think it should need much, uh, but that's just gonna go in a lot of places. So I need 22 of these. I also made these bigger stakes to hold the uh, center in where two boards meet. Uh, on the ends, and that should hold it in place just fine for what I need. So I've had a little bit of rain, but I was able to get two of the raised beds done. I have the 12 by 6 here, and the 18 by 4. Uh, they're currently upside down, I still have to flip them up right side up. Uh, and then we have one more to go, so I'll build this other 18 by 4, put it together, and then we'll flip it over and get them put into place. So we got the beds all lined up, now we just gotta hammer them in the ground. So it turns out that a giant log is actually my best hammer. And so I made this jig that's kind of already starting to fall apart. But So this is basically put everything, equal pressure on everything. And my hammer. And 
I just go around the sides and nail it in evenly. All right, so basically I have all the raised beds pounded into the ground. Uh, they're in there pretty sturdy, not going anywhere. That's all I need to do. So uh, next step after this is going to be filling them with compost. And then after that, filling the walkways with uh, wood chips. So the compost and topsoil is in the beds now. It's the base of the bed that's all raked out. So I think next step is to move everything out of the way and fill in the wood chips. So we're almost done with wood chips here. I uh, just got to do some more cleanup work, kind of spread it out better. So it looks like Kitty approves. She likes what we've done with the blaze. You like it? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to be mixing in our soil amendments. So we have peat moss, uh, just regular raised bed soil, and then we have this uh, manure. So we'll be mixing them in evenly in all the beds and just getting that worked in. raining a little bit now but I'm still gonna try and get some of these fence posts in and see how far I get. So I abandoned the two foot chicken wire fence. I'm gonna have to get a three foot and I'm gonna get it in a longer roll and it'll be easier just to go around the whole thing at once. So now I'm going to try and build my gate.
So I got pretty much the entire chicken wire fence down. Uh, so now I'm just gonna fill in with some dirt around the in outside edge to be able to hold some of the excess out to keep things from digging. And then I'll cover that over with wood chips. So this is going to be our deer fence right here, a uh, 30 pound fishing line. So we'll go around the poles with that and we'll see how it does. All right, so the deer fence is on. So this is 30 pound test line. We'll see if it actually works. I mean, I just got this idea from other YouTube videos. so. I guess if all my veggies don't get eaten, then it worked. And if I come out one morning and all the lines are broken, then I guess the deer outsmarted me. So, I mean, the best part about it is that it's open, so you can see through everything. It's not like a big giant fence. All right, so here's the final product. This is the garden finished. Did everything that I wanted to do. So I have four ra raised beds now. I added this extra trellis that goes over the top here. I'll do some climbing things on that. Have a trellis on this side as well. Uh, I started spinach a while ago in the raised bed here, so that's coming up nicely. And then over here I'm going to do tomatoes. So I have strings going across to get those. Once the weather warms up, I'll be able to put stuff out here. But that's the final product and hopefully everything will not get eaten. The deer won't figure out that they can get past my fishing line or jump over it and the rabbits will stay out. So that was the process from start to finish. Thanks for watching.